Coming. Right, so yeah, this is Jace from the Low Roofing. Uh, Jace has come along to look at more about the weather shielding and just uh, see what was going on. I've known Jace for three, four years. Yeah. Um, and then Jace has been using his bottled up weather shield, not in the new uh, product that we've got coming out. Um, he's been buying off me for chimney breasts or chimney stacks, uh, exposed places where other lads can't get. Um, Always done a good job with it, haven't you? Had yeah, it, yeah. Never had no sort of problem with it. Um, so, Jason has come along now to sort of like start looking at doing more of weather shielding, um, chimneys, uh, chimney breasts, chimney stacks especially. Uh, also, obviously, the roofing and things like that, it can do with that. So, um, once we sort of show him the chimney stacks especially, which he already knows. Uh, and uh, the, the sort of camp where they're more accessible to uh, chimney stacks then uh, we can sort of show him that but I'm uh, just saying I'll go to this point now I'll show you this today so one of one of those methods what we put on this, this is this is what we've done with this is weather shield and stage so as you'll know with chimney breasts and stacks with salt content with it, so, uh, we all, um, olden days we all smoke and things like that, we all salt content. One of the things what we advise people to do, like you see around this building, is all this salt damage that's coming through. But what we do, an anti-sulfate, we supply an anti-sulfate that will dissolve all the effervescent salts. Once that salt has all been treated, then we can start, if the pointing needs uh, working on, we can do that, or you could go doing it. Um, once that's been pointed up in, into a condition, then we can start looking at treating them treatments, uh, protecting them treatments, sorry. So what we do with that, that's why we do use a weather shield. So I could just be saying to the plaster and, and other people, there's no point doing all that other work and then not giving it some other sort of protection. So that's why the weather shield does it. So any sort of corrosive, uh, effervescent salt damage, once the point is being done, Put the weather shield on, and this is the sort of. So again, you can show our customers. It's just a simple case that that's not being treated, and you can see visually see that's being treated. So the water's just running off. Uh, that'll last up to sort of ten years. Once that's um, the problem we find today with, with, with chimneys is that people don't use chimneys anymore. So what happens is the chimneys are redundant, more or less, yep. and then you just get eaten away by the weather, yep. and this product will actually keep it watertight and give it a few more years of life. And also, then like a lot of times, uh, with all these sort of stages that we've done, it can, can turn into a structural problem, like you say. Yeah, yeah. With your chimney, once you only start getting a, a, an elevation part of it, but it's going to be getting um, the wind really bad weather, that can then unsettle that chimney. And if it's a tall, especially on an old Tudor house where you've got what, what sort of tallest you know, chimney stack a bit, 15 foot you got, you got 6 foot wide, 10 foot wide, depending, yeah. 15 foot tall, yeah. I've worked with chimneys, you know, with the biggest extensions sometimes, especially the old Victorian Yeah, old houses. Victorian ones and stuff like that, then, you know, long narrow thing where you'll start getting a couple of bricks like this, start getting eaten away. And especially we get the old Ashley Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ashley Stone, same. Um, 